comedy-wise? Who were, who were the guys as you found your feet who you really thought, I'd, I'd love to be him, I'd love to be telling those jokes one day? I guess growing up I was exposed to things like Monty Python, Only Fools and Horses, uh, Blackadder, quite a lot of English humour. I had a friend, Adam Kramer, who I think also smuggled the contraband in. And so I watched a lot of that stuff. And of course, we didn't really have much of a stand-up scene in South Africa until, until post-94. In fact, the first gig that I did was the first time I went to a comedy club. And, but I, I sort of didn't have, I, I think I listened to was Mark Banks. I had a CD of Mark Banks, which I, I listened set, to. Cassette, surely. Uh, it was actually a CD, Dan. And uh, which I used to store in one of those, <laughs> those racks um, that only Luddites use now. You know those racks? You've never seen one, have you, Tim? No. <laughs> no, we store them in the attic. And then when your kid comes to you now, he goes, Dad, what's that? You go, that's what we used to store the toast. We used to store the toast <laughs> in. And then he's like, what's toast? I'm like, well, that's what mom used to eat before King Noakes outlawed the toast. <laughs> <laughs>